Hello chess lovers, Soren here and in this video I would like to share with you a fantastic game from 1959 USSR Championship. With the white piece is playing Soviet chess grandmaster Eduard Gufeld and his opponent is Mikhail Tal. Apart from being a very talented grandmaster, Gufeld was also one of the most prolific authors in chess and he wrote over 80 chess books. Here is what Gufeld writes about this game in his book Chess – The Search for Mona Lisa. Though Tal was my age, even at that time he was far ahead of me in chess development and erudition, and it was with mixed feelings of astonishment and delight that I witnessed his fantastic leap to fame. During the game I felt a creative excitement and inspiration. Playing against a chess genius, you always get a charge of creative energy trying to be a worthy opponent. No, not an opponent, but a partner in creating a chess masterpiece. You put more, much more fantasy and imagination into such games than into ordinary chess games. Now, let's see what happened on the board. Gufel started the game with e4 and e5 by Tal. Knight f3, knight c6, bishop b5. We see that Rui Lopez a6, Morphy defense, bishop a4, knight f6 and bishop takes c6. Gufeld goes for delayed exchange variation. This may seem as a loss of tempo. White first played bishop a4 and then bishop takes c6. But the difference is that now already black knight stands on f6 square and can't protect the pawn on e5 by playing f6. d3, knight d7. Knight d2, bishop e7, knight c4. With this standard knight maneuver, Gufeld started to put pressure on this e5 square. Bishop f6, queen e2, c5, bishop d2. Gufeld is preparing castling queenside. Tal castled kingside, and as already the king is on g8 square, Gufeld played g4. He wants to organize a quick attack. In the return, Tal played b5. The challenge is accepted. The center is immobile and the flanks go into perpetual motion. 93 g6. Well, not the best continuation because this is somewhat making Pelek's king side vulnerable. It was better to play knight b8 and then bring the knight on d4 square, but in the game we see g6, h4 and only now we see knight b8. As I've already mentioned, it was better to go for a knight maneuver before playing this g6. White castles queen side with opposite side castlings, a very aggressive looking pawn chains and this is going to be a very sharp game. Knight c6, rook g1, bishop e6, king b1. Knight b4, bishop takes b4, c takes b4, and g5. Instead of playing g5, knight f5 looks stronger. If king h8, then queen d2. But in the game after c takes b4, we see g5. Bishop g7, knight g4, and f5. In a difficult situation, Tal characteristically sharpens the game. Many times this helps him to outplay his opponents in breathtakingly double-edged situations, but in this case this is weakening his king side. Instead of f5, bishop takes g4 could give Pelek better chances, and then queen d7, and then a5, proceeding with the attack. But in the game after knight g4 we see f5. Here Gufeld captured and passant, bishop takes g4, rook takes g4, queen takes f6, rook h3, the knight on f3 was under attack, a5, Tal proceeds with his counter attack, h5, rook a6, h takes g6, h takes g6, and rook g2. With this move Tal is overprotecting the pawn on f2 and already he can freely move away his knight. b3, a nice trick by Tal. I have already showed a lot of games where he goes for a typical idea against Sicilian when playing g6 and in this case this beautiful b3 move Tal is using with black pieces. a takes b3, a4, knight h4, white is coming after the pawn on g6, but Tal is not even paying attention what's going on on the king side. a takes b3, rook takes g6, and rook a8, of course the queen is untouchable because of this checkmate. By the way, instead of rook a8, if a move like queen takes f2, then can you find the winning move for white? 
Ready? Well, white can simply go for this exchange sacrifice and then queen g4 and then rook f3. This is going to be winning. In the game after rook takes g6, we see rook a8. C takes b3 and already the queen is hanging, that's why queen f7 was played. And now question arises, how is white going to proceed with the attack? But in this position, Gufeld found a spectacular continuation. Can you find his next move? Ready? He played rook takes g7 move, what a sacrifice, against Tal in Tal's style. Here queen takes g7 can be made with this rook g3 move, that's why Tal recaptured with the king. And now the knight jumps into the game with a check, knight f5 check, king g8, queen g4 check, rook g6, and another powerful move, can you find that move? Ready? This time Gufeld played knight e7 check. Tactical shots are everywhere. King g7, well if queen takes e7 then white can capture on g6 and then announce a check from e6. Here queen f7 can be met with a simple rook a8 check or if a move like king f8 then this time rook f3 finishes up black. In the game after knight e7 check we see king g7 and here Gufeld simply won the rook on g6, queen takes b3, Tal is still seeking for a counter play on the queen side. By the way, if a move like queen takes g6 then white can play queen d7 check, if queen f7 then rook h7 is winning on the spot and if king g8 then this time queen d5 fork wins the game. In the game after knight takes g6 we see queen takes b3, now comes knight takes e5 check, king f6, queen g6 check, of course Queen f5, rook h6 could lift to a checkmate quicker, but in the game we see queen g6 check. King takes e5, look at this black king on e5 square. It's hard to believe that with the black pieces is playing Mikhail Tal, look at this king guys. d4 check by Gufeld and Tal resigned because he's losing his queen, but actually Gufeld missed checkmate in two, he could play f4 check and then announce a checkmate from g1 square, but he played d4 and Tal resigned. This was simply a fantastic game, guys. During all the game I had such an impression that it's Mikhail Tal who is on the white side, but all hail to Gufeld, he played a majestic game. Thanks for watching, I hope that you enjoyed this fantastic game. For more games consider subscribing to my channel. I will see you in the next video.